Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of How Do I on Photoshop Basics. Today we'll be looking at the magic wand tool and the quick search tool and use them in an example as well. So without further ado, Alakazam. Here we are with a nice and colourful image from Pexel. Like before, the tools we'll be using today live on the left hand side toolbar. It's the fourth one down. We've got the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. Today, we'll be starting off with the magic wand tool. This tool is actually quite similar to the marquee tool and the lasso tool, which we used in our previous episodes. The keyboard shortcut for this tool is W. Put simply, when you left click with the magic wand tool, it selects the pixels of similar color and tone in the same area. As you can see, it selected the cog here rather well because it's all a similar purple color, which is rather clever of it really. So if I come over to this one and click, again, Photoshop works its techno magic and selects the colors rather well. If I come over to this one, as you can see, it doesn't actually get all the colors. It's missed out this top bit here. This is because the difference in color and tone is too great, but fear not, I'll show you how to fix that later on. For now, I want to pull your attention to the top information bar here. Yep, you're quite right. These are the exact same sort of tools that we've got for the marquee tool and the lasso tool. So we've got our new selection, our add to selection, our subtract from selection, and our intersect from selection. It's worth noting that the intersect from selection tool doesn't quite work very well with this. I'm just gonna come over and click the new selection. Now, one of the cool things about the magic wand tool is this the tolerance feature i'm going to type in 10 here in doing so i'm telling photoshop to use a much smaller range of colors and tones on this shape it's fine because the range of the colors and tones is actually quite close however if i come over to this shape here and click you can see it's only selected part of the shape that's because of our small tolerance setting. Now, if I come up top here and type in, oh, let's go for much bigger numbers, 60, I'm just going to deselect to deselect everything and try again. On this ship, it's got everything. And remember, this ship only had a little bit. So if I go again, it selected everything because the tolerance is much larger. So it's got a much wider range of colors and tones it can select. Another cool feature of the magic wand tool is the continuous tick box. As you can see, when ticked, it will continuously select the same color and tone, but when it reaches its tolerance limits, it stops. However, if I come back up here and untick the continuous tick box, I'm gonna deselect everything, and now if I click on, oh, let's go for a different color, let's go for the orange. If I click on this now, it doesn't stop at the tolerance limit, and it seeks out all similar oranges, on the page. So now that we've played around with the magic wand tool, let's start on the quick selection tool. If we come over to the left here and if we right mouse click on the magic wand tool, we can get to our quick selection tool. This tool is actually really similar to the magic wand tool and the brush tool. I've got a very small size brush there, so I'm just going to increase it so we can see it. There we go. With this, we can paint on areas that we want to select and Photoshop will do its best to match the tones and its colors. There we go, I'm gonna paint here, I'm gonna paint over here. It doesn't just have to be purple, I can paint this blue section as well. There it goes, doing a pretty good job of that actually. The downside to this tool is you don't actually have much control over it. So it's selecting these shapes really well because they are flat colors. So it's having a really easy task, but if I didn't want some of these colors, I would need to figure out a way to tell it actually, you know what, I didn't want this red. And we can do that up here. These might look a little bit familiar. We've got the plus and the minus. So I'm gonna click on the minus. This is the subtract from selection. I'm sure you've heard of that one by now. Now if I come over to the screen tool and click and drag around, there we go. It's gonna remove the selection for me because I decided, you know what, I didn't want that anyway. We're gonna go over to an example and we can see what it looks like in an actual picture. 
Here we are, a nice picture. So what I want to do, I want to cut this pier out, or should I say I want to select this pier, and I also want to select the gentleman here. So we're going to start by doing that just by dragging over this gentleman. Make sure we get everything selected. The best way to use this tool is to remember it's a quick selection. It doesn't matter if Photoshop selects areas that we don't want, because we're going to go back and we're going to refine those areas. So I want this post here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to speed up this next bit. There we go, right. Now I want to get rid of certain areas, so I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt. Now watch the mouse cursor. There you go, see how it's changed to a minus now. Now if I air quote paint on, it's going to remove the areas. So again, I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so I'm relatively happy with that. So I'm going to press Control C, and then I'm gonna go over to our other image here. This one you might recognize, and press Control V. There we go. Now I'm just going to go over to my Move tool and move him about a bit. I think I'll do a little bit of a resize as well. And there we have it. So we now got him looking from a pier into space, which looks pretty cool. And that's going to wrap up this episode of How Do I on Photoshop Basics, where we have learned about the Magic Wand tool and the Quick Selection tool. If you found this helpful, click that like button. And if you've got a question to ask, why not scribble it down in the comments and we can have a chat about it. Until next time, doodles. This has been How Do I on Photoshop Basics. If you'd like to know more and learn more, click below to subscribe.